Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with a full case break of 2017 Panini Donruss Optic Football. All 12 boxes. Pick your team number seven plus a chance to win a transcendent baseball spot at the very, very end. If you bought at least two teams right here, you'll get one entry. All the details are on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So on a Thursday, the 28th, Ashley with the last spot mojo bears. Good luck to her and good luck to everybody. Here's my knife. Here is the case of Optic Football. A lot of big hit potential in here, folks. A lot of parallels, a lot of autographs, a lot of fun stuff. Hot boxes, autograph hot boxes as well. All right, there's there's all of your boxes here. And good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Any big football news of the day? I know James Harrison went to the Patriots. I heard that news. I I didn't really have too many big thoughts on that before because I don't think he was playing really playing that much. But there always seemed to be something something weird that was going on. And it turns out, yeah, like I guess as as things are starting to unfold, looks like James Harrison asked the Steelers three times to release him, which they did not. They finally honored the request. Then he went to uh, then he went to the Patriots. Which I thought was odd. How many secrets does James Harrison know? I don't know. Well, we're going we're to find out, though, if they be, end up beating in the playoffs. Some other football news. Giants have a new uh, GM. Jaguars opening up uh, another 3,500 seats, 3,501 to be specific, seats for the playoffs. Good for the Jaguars. And Johnny Manziel, dust off your Johnny Manziel cards, folks. He is moving closer to playing for the CFL. He might revive his career up there in Canada. That could be interesting. Looks like he's going to play for the uh, for uh, the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Oh, everyone knows the Hamilton Tiger Cats. All right. All right, good luck, folks. Here we go. First box. Rated rookie Alvin Kamara at a two ninety nine. The rookies Christian McCaffrey, those aren't numbered, but those will ship. Vet base is not ship, but obviously all the inserts and the autographs and the different parallels will. I like these AKA cards too. They're pretty fun. Cooper Cup for the Rams. 49 out of 149. Cooper Cup for the Rams. Who has the Rams? That'll be Rick T. And the Alvin Kamara Saints. That'll go to Cruz. We'll sleeve all of those up a little bit later. Our first autograph. Oh, my. You like that? Kirk Cousins. That's your autograph and that vintage look, that retro look that I like. Early 80s, I think. Four out of ten. 
Nice one for CO Turtle. CO Turtle with that. 63 out of 99. Who recently discovered that uh, him and the wife bundle of joy coming along. So congrats on this. Congrats on the kids, CO Turtle. Nice. Matt Forte, 172 out of 199. It goes to the Jets. That'll be for Adam Kupperman and his Jets. Beast Mode. Nice. Three out of 99. And there's Dak Prescott, 299 for the Cowboys. James with the boys, and there's Kurt Warner for the Rams. 50 out of 99. Nice start, everybody. Nice start. Next box. Injuries, Alvin, uh, no, DeAndre Hopkins, expected to sit out on Sunday. Dak Prescott, we just pulled his parallel a little bit earlier. Big, t It's, quote, it's big for me to go in and finish this season. Disappointing season for the Cowboys, for sure. Same with my Raiders. I think a lot of people are talking, oh, Cowboys, Raiders, Super Bowl. People at the end of the season last year, they're like, ah, oh, they made some strides. They made some progression. Yeah. Definitely not happened. Uh, Jack Del Rio quoted with the with the biggest understatement of the year. Raiders quote underperformed offensively okay. in 2017. Yeah, first year offensive coordinator Todd Downing not not impressing anybody. I, you know. It appears that he's probably not going to – it's unfair, I guess, to to do that after someone's first year on the job. But, I mean, it went backwards so so far. Like, OC Todd Downey may not be coming back for the Raiders. I'd be surprised if he was. Melvin Gordon will be ready on Sunday. I think the Chargers have to win and they're in, right? I think that's basically what it is. Todd Bowles for the Jets saying that we'll see about Christian Hackenberg possibly getting uh, some snaps, some game time. Let's see what they have in Christian Hackenberg. Oh, yeah, Patrick Mahomes getting the start. Looks like Chiefs comfortably... Uh, set with their playoff position, so they're just they're gonna see what they have in uh, rest up Alex Smith a little bit and see what they have in Patrick Mahomes. What happens if Patrick Mahomes just crushes it? Where, Alex you know, Smith to the they'll, 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 He'll stick. Andy Reid will stick with it, Alex Smith, but but maybe in the off season, yeah, he might be done in the off season. Yeah, Illusions. This will be a randomizer, 136 out of 149. TJ and his brother JJ. Tim H., I do not remember calling out your name, so I don't think you got anything. Maybe a parallel or two, but that's about it. Uh, oh, and this, 113 out of 149. You have my Raiders. There's Derek Carr. We'll set that right there. There's Derek Carr. Derek Carr, being the good guy that he is, he, he puts it on himself. He says, hey, it was me. I didn't perform. It's okay, Derek. It was the offensive coordinator. Marlon Mack, 13 out of 149. And Evan Ingram is your autograph. Nice. Rated rookie auto, Evan Ingram for the Giants. New York football giants, that is Stanley. One of the brighter spots for the for Big Blue. 
30 out of 150. There's Tyreek Hill, 81 out of 99. And it looks like an autograph hot box. There's Charles Harris for the Dolphins. JK, Jason K with fins up. 75 out of 75. This might be like a three auto hot box, maybe points. There's Curtis Samuel. Oh yeah, these ones aren't numbered. There's Michael Thomas out of 299. For the Saints. Yep, there are the points. Uh, if there's more than uh, 150, we're collecting all the points into uh, one. We randomize it to one person at the break. Winner take all on the points. Which I think makes the points a little bit nicer. Because you get a whole collection of them. So this is our randomizer pile. All right, next one. Good luck. This is Pick Your Team 7. If you missed out on Pick Your Team 7, don't worry. Pick Your Team 8 is already in the store on jazbeeshobbyland.com. All right. Uh, let's see what other news is happening here. Looks like, all right, see ya, boss man. Looks like uh, Todd Gurley, Jared Goff, and Aaron Donald to sit out week 17 for the Rams. They're, they've de they deserve it. They deserve that break. Eli Apple has had a weird season. Uh, one, of the, one of the Giants players calling him a locker room cancer. Seems kind of harsh. But yeah, his his uh, his poor season ends in a suspension. Brian K. No, we do not ship veteran base. Everything else ships though. Des Bryant on uh, taking a pay cut in 2018. He he replies, "Quote, hell no." Landon Collins was the one who called Eli Apple a cancer. He apologized for that. Chuck Pagano saying that it's the last rodeo for the Colts. Uh, Ray's asking, Joe, what are your thoughts on Mayfield? Curtis Mayfield? I like Curtis Mayfield. Or are you talking about the Baker? You know, I, I have to admit, I don't watch enough college football. That's, that's, that's really one of my weak points in sports knowledge is college football. I really, I really don't start to pay attention until, until around draft time. <laughs> Buddha Baker, speaking of Bakers... For the Cardinals, James with the Cardinals. Out of 50. I like when the parallel matches the color of the team. This might be another hot box here. There's Jordan Matthews Orange out of 199 for the Bills. That'll be for uh, Tim H. And there's Obi Melifonwu, Obi Wan Kenobi for the Raiders. Tim H with my Raiders. Is he is he is uh, is Baker Mayfield declaring for the draft? Looks like Josh Rosen is. Sam Darnold looks like he will as well. There's Michael Thomas at a two ninety nine. But yeah, I mean, hey, listen for the hobby, for the hobby, it's good to have quarterbacks in. Uh, oh, he's a senior. I see. Uh, for for quarterbacks. Or for the hobby, that is twenty two hundred ninety nine. It's good. Uh, it's good to have quarterbacks drafted in the in the first round. There's Jordan Reed for Co Turtle out of one forty nine. So I hope I hope a lot of those quarterbacks get drafted in like the top ten. 
That'll be good for the hobby. Jeremy McNichols. Nice rated rookie black refractor. That goes to the Buccaneers. Dennis with that one. 25 out of 25. There's Malachi Dupree out of 299 for the Packers. That'll be for Jason K. There's Richard Sherman. And we have Solomon Thomas, another black refractor autograph. That goes to Phillip and the Niners. Four out of 25. Nice low number. Always nice to have low numbers on any autograph here. Gridiron Kings. David Johnson out of 99. Poor David Johnson. That kind of derailed the Cardinals season pretty much from the get-go. Ryan Tannehill. Same with him as well with that injury. 35 out of 50. And there's Joe Williams in the back right there. All right, next box. Oh, looks like uh, Adam is saying, he's like, you think I spent a lot now? Just wait until Baker Mayfield gets drafted. And he'll be hunting him like no tomorrow. Well, you know what? Let's see what uh, some early draft what some early draft predictions are. I, I enjoy Walter Football. I'm sure most of you who are sports fans know about WalterFootball.com. He does some pretty decent, uh, decent mock drafts. So he's saying. So as of when did he do this mock draft? He updated this today, actually, on the 28th. So he's saying that number one, as the positions stand now, number one overall, Cleveland Browns. He's saying Josh Rosen from UCLA. So they're gonna go quarterback again. See if they see if Josh Rosen will end up being the the, the franchise QB they need. New York Football Giants with the second pick. Uh, they're they're saying Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson. Then Colts. Saquon Barkley, running back. Poss that's possible. TJ's, think TJ's predicting that he thinks that... Uh, he thinks that Baker Mayfield may go to the Colts. Maybe, uh, maybe to kind of keep him behind Andrew Luck, see what happens with him for a while. Fourth overall, Minka Fitzpatrick, safety or corner. For the Browns, uh, more defense for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bradley Chubb, defensive end from uh, North Carolina State, and uh, and Walter Football as of today has Baker Mayfield going to the Denver Broncos with the sixth overall pick. Though he acknowledges that uh, in the comments, he says, "I feel as though this will be a very polarizing pick." It's interesting. Yeah, I don't think the Broncos are going to be rolling with uh, Paxton Lynch or, or the Brock Lobster or anything like that, or Trevor Simeon. Uh, predicting Arden Key, defense for the Jets. That's with the seventh pick. We'll continue this after this box. So what do you think? I would like it if more quarterbacks got drafted in the, in the first round and high in the first round. That just helps the hobby. Joey Bosa at a two ninety nine for the Chargers. That would be EA Sports. It's in the game with the Los Angeles Chargers. Leonard Fournette out of 99 for the Jaguars. That'll be for Sam Golden. Jabril Peppers, 25 out of 99 for the Browns. That'll go to Dennis. Illusions, Corey Davis and Des Bryant, 42 out of 99. No pay cut for Des Bryant. He says no. Connor Milligan was saying earlier five, six minutes ago, saying that Kyle would need to get rid of Dez. Fast. Too much drama with him. We'll randomize that at the end. There's Eli Manning. Is he done in New York? Seems like it. Antonio Brown out of 199. Poor Antonio Brown. Unfortunate injury for him. 
It's always a bummer not to see guys like that in the playoffs, especially as a neutral fan. Is that Cunningham at a 199? That'll go to the Texans. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. More illusions right here. Now, these this isn't numbered, so we're just going to randomize these left or right. There's Christian and his dad. That'll be a left-right randomizer. Tim H. asking, would you even put Dez in the top 20 wide receivers? At the moment? Maybe not. He may need to change his scenery. Matt Collins, rated rookie. There, there you go. G3 Snake saying they uh, they said Dez might be traded to the Niners. Might be good for the Niners. Two out of 35, Matt Collins. Return of the Mac for Karen and the Eagles. Maybe Des Bryant, yeah, maybe he just needs a change of scenery. 34 out of 50, D.D. Westbrook, Jaguars. That goes to Sam. All right, that's the end of that box. Who is they, though, G3? Who's they? Who's, 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 are these legit sources that are making that speculation? <laughs> TJ saying, uh, wouldn't it be a hoot if the Browns came out and took a kicker with the first pick? Seems like those are the only points that they can get. I imagine Cleveland would melt down. Roy saying that uh, that giant spot, not Lamar Jackson, it smells like a trade spot. You heard it here first, he says. That's right, Giants card. We are doing a full case. All the boxes you see on your screen, we're doing the entire darn thing. We've got about another 40 minutes to go in this break. Uh, we left off with the Jets. Arden Key is what Walter Football is predicting. I like WalterFootball.com. He does nice mock drafts, writes up nice little blurbs, a very simple, easy website. Uh, Niners are your eighth pick. Quentin Nelson guard Notre Dame is what he's guessing. Chicago Bears are going wide receiver. Walter Football is guessing. Alabama's Calvin Ridley. They could use that. They could give Mitch Trubisky some weapons. And, uh, and I don't know. Kevin White, just that, that can never shake those injuries. Bengals, Derwin James, safety from Florida State. From our Raiders with the 11th pick. Yeah, they got to go defense, Walter Football is saying. Deron Payne from Alabama. Walter Football is saying uh, the Raiders need to upgrade every area of their defense. This is true. Cornerback, linebacker, safety. And defensive tackle will be good if Justin Ellis leaves for free agency. That is true. And I think the new defensive coordinator, Chuck, uh, Chuck Pagano's brother, I think, uh, has been a good change for the Raiders too. So if they could kind of... Kind of dust themselves off from this disappointing disappointing season. And I think uh, I think the Raiders will be will be it's a one step back, two steps forward kind of deal. Alright. So that will leave out we'll leave with the Raiders. That was the eleventh pick and we'll do this box and we'll take a look at some of the more picks there. Let me know what you think about what Walter Football says. Jordan Matthews, Bills, out of 149. Giants card saying the Giants should get Baker Mayfield. Carlos Hyde, out of 199. Mike Williams for the Chargers, 115 out of 149. And Dalvin Cook. Poor Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook is your rated rookie autograph for the Minnesota Vikings. Brian K with that one. Nice one, Brian. On card autograph, 96 out of 99. That is strong. Out of 299, Robert Davis for the Redskins. Reuben Foster, 
111 out of 149. Yeah, Bowman's best Rex should definitely fill by the end of this break. There's only like three teams left. Jaspyshobbyland.com. We've got more, a full, another full case of this on Jaspyshobbyland.com too, folks. So check out the website. Grab your teams if you missed out on Optic this time. A lot of nice hits and a and a good excuse to talk football for for a little while. Zeus, Travis Kelsey, 92 out of 99. And that'll be for the Chiefs. Well, for speed. Uh, Giants cards. It is possible to pull an RPA out of this. It's one per case, though. It's a case, they're considered case hits. All right, next box. We left off with my Raiders with number 11 pick. So WalterFootball.com. Denzel Ward for Miami Dolphins. No, I've not pulled out the uh, case hit yet, Giants cards, so still looking for it. Uh, so they're going, so Walter Football predicting cornerback. Some secondary help for the Dolphins. Cardinals, Joshua Jackson. Defensive back from Iowa. Redskins, nose tackle. Packers with the 15th pick. Defensive end. Chargers shoring up their uh, offensive line. This is what Walter Football is predicting in the draft. Buffalo Bills. Dante Jackson, corner. Detroit Lions, de defense. Christian Wilkins from Clemson. Cowboys. Roquan Smith, linebacker from Georgia. Seattle Seahawks going, uh, he's predicting defense as well. Marcus Davenport from Texas San Antonio. Titans, center, guard, Ohio State. Ravens, Cortland Sutton, wide receiver. Oh, that's interesting, some offense there. The Ravens are desperate for receiving help, Walter Football writes. Rashad Perryman has been a bust. Jeremy Macklin, Joe Flacco have never clicked. And Mike Wallace, inconsistent. Baltimore has to find a number one wideout. Atlanta Falcons. Carlton Davis, cornerback from Auburn. 24th pick, Carolina Panthers. Austin Bryant, defensive end, Clemson. Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen. There's the Josh Allen for both Buffalo Bills from Wyoming. And then we'll uh, start off with the Jaguars the 26th pick at the moment after this. Rob Castillo, uh, yes, there are camo, I believe camo refractors in this. I think they're out of 25 maybe. And there's Jared Davis. It's an early auto. Might be another hot box. Might be our third hot box here. If there's three hot boxes, sometimes they drop the case at 69 out of 99. Lions, that'll go to Royal Four Speed. Ryan with that one. CJ Bethard. Out of 25, rated rookie out of 25. That's for the Niners. That'll be for Phillip. Yeah, that is a hot box. Chad Kelly with the Broncos. Steve Freeze with the Broncos. Well, Oppo, Joe, Mojo as well. Next auto is... Chad Hansen, on-card rated rookie auto to catch a pass. Not a predator. Chad Hansen for the Jets. Adam Kupperman with the Jets. 29 out of 50. Leonard Fournette. 81 out of 99 for the Jaguars. Sam Golden. R. Joshua Dobbs, rated rookie card. 154 out of 199. Taiwan Taylor, 145 out of 149. Marcus Mariota, 
out of 299, 87 out of 299. Or Mariotto, as the commissioner said. Uh, Malik Hooker, nice. He's had a pretty solid season. Steve Freeze with the Colts. There you are. Isn't he injured though? I think he's a he's a pretty bright spot for the Colts this season. Our Raiders, Cleo Mack individually playing well, 100 out of 149. Just the, the defense as a whole just wasn't clicking this year. There's Willie Cooker again at a 299. Colts, Steve Freeze with the Colts. And that is that. All right, next box. Good luck, everyone. So we're going through uh, Walter Football's draft predictions on WalterFootball.com, one of my favorite mock draft sites. We left off with the Buffalo Bills with the 25th pick at the moment. Uh, and uh, he's predicting quarterback Josh Allen from Wyoming. Walter Football suggesting the Bills apparently don't want Tyrod Taylor to be the starting quarterback. Perhaps this means they'll go after Josh Allen. At the end of the first round, it seems as though Nathan and Jay Peterman is not the answer either. Allen was once considered a top five prospect, but flopped this year, failing to show improvement in accuracy and field vision. However, teams are still intrigued by uh, by his skill set, so he'll likely sneak in the first round. Uh, Jacksonville Jaguars with a 26th pick. Walter Football predicting Orlando Brown offensive tackle. Rams, Isaiah Oliver, corner. Saints, Ronnie Harrison, safety. Steelers, Justin Reed, safety from Stanford. Minnesota Vikings, Mike Hughes, corner from Central Florida. Patriots, uh, defensive tackle from Florida, David Bryan. And Eagles, Colt Miller, offensive tackle, UCLA. Looks like a lot of defense is being predicted here. I guess last year was the really deep running back class, right? This year looks like a deeper quarterback class maybe, or just a lot more quarterbacks coming out, I suppose. Which is good for the hobby. Always good to see quarterbacks in the first round. So there you have it, folks. That's Walter Football. Uh, early, very early mock draft predictions. Obviously, he... More, more updates will come as we get March closer and closer to the draft. Jason McKee saying that kind of hoping the Jags trade up for a quarterback. I don't know. Kind of, if you look at Blake Bortles' stats this year, he's actually not doing that bad. They, they might hold on to him. They might give him another year. Mike Williams for the Chargers. 129 out of 149. EA Sports with the Chargers. There's Deshaun Watt, poor Deshaun Watson, 002 out of 199 for the Texans. He'll be back though, Adam Kupperman. I, I feel like he'll bounce back. And your autograph is Davis Webb. Will they give Davis Webb a, a shot at the QB position? Is Eli Manning gonna go? Is that it for Eli? 37 out of 50. Jeremy Hill, Bengals, out of 149. Patrick Mahomes getting the star. We'll see what we have in Patrick Mahomes this weekend. Andy Dalton for the Bengals, 12 out of 50. That's Michael Gallucci with Cincinnati. There's Gronk. There's AJ Green out of 299. There's fans of the game, Joey Belladonna from Anthrax. 81 out of 149 for the Vikings. Is he really a fan of. Brian K will get that one. Is he really a fan of the Vikings? 
Jared Goff, 24 out of 99. What a turnaround for him. And the Rams. Rams are pretty exciting. All right. Next box. Giants cards says, I hope, I think Davis Webb can be the quarterback of the future. We'll see. Is he, is he going to get playing time this weekend? I saw Curtis. Yeah, there's kid reporters cards all over the place, too. Sam, uh, is some pre-order contenders going up tonight? I would imagine so. But I, that's not that's not something I, that I handle. It's up to Nick Jaspi, however he feels. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I would just keep hitting that refresh button on jaspyshobbyland.com. See if it ends up popping up. So the schedule this weekend. Let's take a look at the schedule this weekend. It's all, always kind of a tough one because because so many players are like if you're let's say you were one that that likes to put a little bit of a, a little bit a couple dollars here and there on a game or two. You know, if you, if you are so inclined, if you're that kind of person, maybe, you know, you'd be inclined to take a look at some of the Week 17 matchups. But uh, it's it's tough because a lot of people are resting players. You know, a lot of people are, uh, you know, you, you don't know what's going to happen. Some people are out of playoff contention, so maybe they're not being as motivated. Hard to bet the games this weekend. <laughs> no, we don't ship the kid reporter cards, Roy. Right? Take a look at some of the early Vegas odds right here. So we've got. Let's start the first game. Do we have time for, to go through some of the games really quick? Yeah, we do. We'll go through the games after this box. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll go through this box first, and then we'll go through some of the games with the lines, and uh, we'll see what people uh, we'll see what people think. All right, we're almost done with the break, too, folks. So thanks for hanging with me here. How are we doing on uh, on the future break? I know we had a baseball break close to filling up. Still stuck at three for that Bowman's best baseball. So if you want to finish that off, we can do it right after this. Astros, Giants, and Rays are left in Bowman's best. And let's continue on with Optic Football. This is Pick Your Team 7. Next Pick Your Team is in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com. 130 out of 299, Kevin King for the Packers. That'll be for Jason K. And Mitch Trubisky. Wow. Rated rookie autograph, Mitch Trubisky. And that is for Ashley, who got the Bears... And the last spot mojo. 52 out of 150. Nice one for Mr. Biscuit and Ashley. There's Ezekiel Elliott out of 149 for the Cowboys. I'll go to James. Kareem Hunt, the rookies, 19 out of 99. 1999, that's Prince. That goes to the Chiefs. Ryan with that one. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's going on? Right there is fine. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Saw that Kirk Cousins autograph earlier. That was nice.
There's TD Terrell Davis for the Broncos. 19 out of 149. Great running back. As a Raiders fan, giving me nightmares. Steve Freeze. Nightmares, I tell you. <laughs> Taco Charlton. 42 out of 99. A Dallas area taco shop jumped in on Charlton's fun nickname when the Cowboys drafted in 2017, offering the newcomer free tacos for life. Perhaps he may take up the restaurant on the meaty offer, assuming he's still hungry after feasting on NFL quarterbacks. That's some good copywriting there. I like that. All right, nice Trubisky for Ashley. Some nice parallels. We're down to our final four boxes. Good luck, everybody. Pick your team seven. All right, good luck, everyone. Okay, so as promised, we'll go through some of the games with the, the Vegas lines. We'll go with uh, the Westgate Superbook. Which I believe everyone's pretty much the same. Uh, Cincinnati at Baltimore. What does everyone think? Cincinnati at Baltimore. Baltimore minus nine and a half. Cincinnati trying to put uh, a positive end to a disappointing season. The Ravens uh, looking for a playoff spot, I believe. Playoffs? Looking for a playoff spot, I believe. Baltimore minus nine and a half. Ooh. I say Mothro says Baltimore. I think I say I think I say the Ravens as well. I think they'll be motivated. They'll be at home. I think they'll be motivated. I think they'll win by over nine and a half points. I'll lay the points there. Uh, Green Bay at Detroit. I think this is there's no playoff implications here. Green Bay at Detroit. Lions are minus six and a half. God, that's, that's so hard. You know, again. With these last week, with the week 17 games, always so difficult to predict because you don't know what everyone's motivation level is. You don't know uh, who's being, well, I guess you kind of know who's being rested. Some some coaches will announce that. But that's usually for the playoff bound teams. For a team like Green Bay and Detroit, I don't know. What is their motivation level? You know, people might be fighting for jobs. I don't know. Uh, I'll go with the home team, though. I think... I think, uh, I think the Lions will take it by a touchdown. Bills are at the Dolphins. Buffalo at Miami. Buffalo, The Buffalo Bills are a road favorite at minus 2.5. Road favorite at minus 2.5. I think I might still take the... Uh, the Dol I think I might take the Dolphins in that one. All right. Let's go through this box. We'll go through some more games. There's Greg Olson for the Panthers at a 299. That'll be for Cruz. That's Todd Gurley, potential MVP maybe, 143 out of 149. Todd Gurley. Gridiron Kings, Russell Wilson, and that card is gold, 8 out of 10. For the Seahawks and Cruz. Nice Gridiron Kings insert out of 10. Worthy of being sleeved up for that low number. And, wow, Gridiron Kings autograph, D.D. Westbrook. Sam Golden with the Jags. I feel like D.D. Westbrook has kind of been coming into his own, right? In recent weeks, one out of ten. There's Gerald Everett. That's a catch. 1999, that's Prince. Eddie Lacy out of 199. Amara Darvo for the Seahawks. Three out of 99. So some Seahawks inserts for Cruz.
And there's Samaj Pirine, rated rookie at a 299 for Andrew and the Redskins. Nice. Next box coming up. Next game, Carolina at Atlanta. Panthers at the Falcons. Cat team against a bird team. The Falcons are at home. They're minus three and a half. Minus three and a half. Tim says Panthers. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning Panthers too. Yeah, they're playing some pretty good football. Did everyone see the uh, the Cam Newton, uh, what the mic picked up? I think Clay Matthews had called out a wheel route. And Cam Newton was pretty much, yeah, that's cute. You know, watch this. <laughs> uh, Cam Newton, man. Guy's a, guy's a goofy dude, but pretty funny at times, too. Uh, how about this one? Uh, Jason McKee says Panthers need to play it easy and let the Falcons get in. Uh, how about this? Saints at Tampa Bay. Saints at the Buccaneers. Saints are road favorites at minus six and a half. I think I'm going to go Saints with this one. I think Jameis Winston will not be eating a W, I'm afraid. Jacksonville, the Jaguars are at the Titans. I think that, that's for playoff spot for Tennessee, and I think maybe playoff positioning for the Jaguars, perhaps. I don't really remember what the implications are. But uh, Jaguars at the Titans. I think the Jaguars really need to bounce back and kind of get into it. I think the Jaguars will take it. It's pretty much a, a coin flip, it looks like, with the Titans minus three. Oh. How about this one? This is interesting. How about the uh, Jets at New England? Jets at New England. The Patriots are minus 15. I'm taking the Jets. Yeah, at minus 15... I'll take the Jets. Jets are pretty good against the spread. Jets are pretty good against the spread, so I, I, I think they could. I think they could do it. I don't think they're gonna. They're gonna get beaten by over over fifteen points. All right, we'll go through. Uh, we'll go through some more games. The rest of the slate of games after this box. One twenty two out of two ninety nine. John U. Smith. Speaking of the Titans, that goes to E. A. with the Titans. Jake Butt, he's a tight end. <laughs> Tim H is like, yeah, let's just give it to the Jets. Seal Curtin, he's a, obviously a Steelers fan, definitely wants the Jets to win. So wait, Seal Curtin, you you're a big uh, Steelers fan. Lives in the Pittsburgh area and all that jazz. What is so? What's your take on that whole James Harrison situation? I'm sure. You're getting more news about it locally than we are nationally. There's Richard Sherman. Who was talking about you? Crabtree, 14 out of 50 for Cruz and the Seahawks. And nice Jabril Peppers. And Browns have the pieces. I just feel like they just need to put it all together. I guess quarterback really is the thing. 88 out of 99. So I'm going to throw to Josh Gordon. That'll be for the Browns. That'll be for Dennis. He wanted, yeah, well, that's what we heard. He wanted out big time, asked to be released three times. Now, as a Steelers fan, though, how, how do you feel about this situation? 23 out of 199, Evan Ingram. Is he just is he just kind of a punk, you know, or or are the did the Steelers try to hang on to him too long? 90 out of 149, C.J. Beathard for the Niners. That'll be for Phillips. Sidney Jones out of 149 for the Eagles. Uh, Glenn, if it fills, I'll do it tonight. 
Unfortunately, I don't know when that's going to happen. You know, you, I never know when any break is going to happen, Glenn. It's just all a matter of what people buy. 111 out of 149, that's for uh, the Bengals, Michael Gallucci. It's just a matter of what people buy. I have no idea. We could do 12 black hockey breaks tonight. 92 out of 99, Stephon Diggs. Or we could do zero. I have no idea. If it sells out, I'll do it. I'll definitely do it. We broadcast up until 11 o'clock Pacific. So we have until then. Nice Jabril Peppers. All right, moving on. Next game. So we're taking the Jets, right? Jason McKee thinks the Steelers messed up, messed up on, on their own. If they would have released him at the beginning of the season, probably would have went out. Yeah. Steel Curtain says, I'm glad he's gone. He was not a good guy in the locker room this year and a bad example for the young guys. Yeah, it seemed like he was a little bitter about the young guys, right? Joe Cavanaugh, tonight's stream is the usual 3 o'clock Pacific to 11 o'clock Pacific. Tim H saying, two more boxes to hunt down that elusive Zay Jones auto. We haven't seen any bills, I feel like. I haven't seen any Zay Joneses. I haven't seen any Nathan Peterman autographs. Where are they hiding? I don't know. Houston, the Texans at the Colts. Texans, season derailed after Deshaun Watson. Colts, lost without Andrew Luck. Colts are minus five. I, I don't want anything to do with that game. I don't want that. Um... The Browns at Pittsburgh. I don't think Westgate has a lineup for that. I think Vegas has it anywhere between minus 7 and minus 10.5 for Pittsburgh. Uh, I think the... You know what? I think the Steelers... I think the Steelers can, uh, can beat them by over 10 points or whatever. Uh, the, the Redskins are at the Giants. Redskins are minus three. They're a road favorites. Uh, I'll take the I'll take the Redskins. The Bears are at Minnesota. Minnesota minus eleven and a half. But what are they playing for? Don't they already have home field advantage, or do they need a? I think they may already have it. So maybe you take the Bears at plus eleven and a half. Jonathan, I, I will answer that baseball question when we do Bowman's best baseball. It's appropriate. And then we'll go through the last one, two, three, four, five games in the next box. Good luck, everybody. Giants cards uh, says the Cates hits in this box. That's not, I mean, with two boxes left, that's not really a hot take, is it? You have a 50-50 shot. <laughs> you didn't really go out on a limb there. Ezekiel Elliott, 28 out of 50 for the Cowboys. That'll go to James. There's Phillip Rivers. 138 out of 149, gridiron insert for Eric and the Chargers. Davis Webb, 41 out of 150, is your rated rookie on card autograph. Another one for Big Blue. That'll be for Stanley. Josh Reynolds, rated rookie, on, uh, not autograph, but insert, 77 out of 199. Rick T with the Rams, who's had an incredible season this year. But yeah, with the three hot boxes though, I don't know if they're, sometimes if you get the third hot box, we've seen that they don't give you the case hit, so there might not even be one. If there is, that'd be awesome. Cooper Cup, 139 out of 299. There's David Johnson. Out of 299. Poor David Johnson. There's our Darius Stewart for the Jets. 72 out of 99 for the Jets. Adam Kupperman and the Jets. Awuzie, 105 out of 149 for James and the Cowboys. And 
Curtis Samuel at the back. All right, last box. Good luck. And the last slate of games. So I said I was taking the Bears plus 11 and a half. So this is interesting. Cowboys minus three. Tim H is going to call the case hit for this box. Uh, Cowboys at Eagles. Cowboys road favorites at minus three. I'm taking the Cowboys. I feel like Dak Prescott wants to finish the season strong. I'm sure Ezekiel Elliott wants to finish the season strong. And, uh, you know, I think the Eagles are comfortably in the playoffs. I don't think I think they're going to eventually start resting some players. I think they'll go. I think I'm going to go Cowboys minus three. My Raiders coming to L.A. Uh, tickets are, like, super expensive, I think. I think they're, like, $300 for, like, nosebleeds on StubHub. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to that game. But Raiders, at, maybe next year. Raiders at Chargers. My, Chargers are minus eight. Chargers fighting for their playoff lives, but the Raiders coming off a disappointing game last week. Maybe they want to uh, maybe they want to play spoiler a little bit. I hope so. It's usually bad form to bet uh, your team because you're never going to bet rationally. So I shall irrationally pick the Raiders, not only to get within eight, but to win. I'm just gonna they're just gonna win out. Sorry, Chargers fans, Adam, uh, and other Chargers fans listening. Cardinals at the Seahawks. I know the Seahawks are motivated. They need to win. Uh, Seahawks are playing at home. They're minus nine and a half. I think the uh, the Seahawks will will definitely. Uh, I think they'll blow out the Cardinals. The Chiefs are at Denver. Denver is minus three and a half. Kansas City going with Patrick Mahomes. Oh, I, I want no part of that game. Um, but if I had to choose, I guess I would reluctantly choose the Broncos to win that one uh, by like four. And the final game is uh, the Niners at the Rams. Rams are resting a bunch of players, and I know, you know, with Jimmy Garoppolo, you know the uh, Niners want to finish on a high note. Um, I say, and the Niners are minus three and a half. I say the Niners. Last autograph is Taiwan Taylor. Rated rookie on-card autograph for EA Sports. It's in the game. Mother, you don't care about point spreads? Point spreads are fun. That helps balance out. I mean, it's it's easy to to just pick teams, I think, sometimes. The lines add a little extra a little extra spice to the predictions. So it kind of evens out the teams. Possible hotbox. That was an early auto, right, Paul T? Another hotbox, perhaps? In lieu of a case hit? Le'Veon Bell out of 149. It'll be all him, Le'Veon Bell in the playoffs. And Big Ben, Michael Gallucci with the Steelers. Christian McCaffrey rated rookie. Parallel out of 299 for Cruz and the Panthers. This is pretty sweet. Walter Payton. 116 out of 149 for the Bears. That'll be for Ashley. Last spot mojo. Uh, maybe not a hot box. And it looks like no case hit either. So we got we had three hot boxes, so that usually takes the place of a, of a case hit. 61 out of 99. Odell Beckham Jr. Vaughn Miller to 149 for the Broncos. Elijah McGuire for the Jets out of 149 for the Jets. And Adam Kupperman. And there you have it, folks. Let's do some randomizers. 
and uh, and give away that transcendent spot as well. So that that's a that's a fun little bonus. So let's set up these lists right here. I need one, two, three. So we'll go left, right on those illusions cards. We've got an illusions card. Let me set these up here. Out of 149, that was TJ Watt and JJ Watt, Steelers, Texans. Then we had the one with Corey Davis and Des Bryant. That was to 99. Let's see who gets the points. So everyone has a chance at the points. And you have to buy at least two teams to get one entry into our Transcendent Baseball promo break. You get a spot at Transcendent. Let's alphabetize by your first names. So Adam got at least two. Brian K got at least two. So did Dennis. So did Eric. James. Jason K. Cruz got three. So he actually might have blocked someone from getting in. Karen got one. Michael Gallucci got three. He blocked someone for sure. Ryan gets a spot. Steve Freeze with an entry. And Tim H with an entry. So out of a possible 16 entries, there's only 12. That's really good odds. Name on top will get a $155 Transcendent Baseball spot. All right. For all the lists, we're going to do one dice roll. And that'll be lucky seven times. Six and a one for everything. Left, right first. One, two, three, four four, five, six, and seven. Left side will get them. So that'll be all the teams on the left side will get those uh, mirror or those illusions cards. Steelers and Texans seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Six with the Steelers goes to Michael Gallucci. So there you go, Mike. You get the uh, 136 out of 149, TJ Watt, JJ Watt. Next up is Titans Cowboys. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Cowboys get it. That's James Scheisler with the 42 out of 99 illusions. Corey Davis, Des Bryant. For the 150 points. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Cruz. little consolation there. 150 points coming your way. There it is. And last but not least, the Transcendent Baseball spot on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Six and a one, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Congrats to... Congrats to James. There you go, James. You got a spot in our uh, Transcendent Baseball break, a $155 value. JaspiesHobbyland.com. We're hoping to break that this week. So keep an eye on it. And uh, and just you can buy your spot straight up, folks. So keep it going. Thanks a lot, everybody. JaspiesHobbyland.com.